Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn at Cloud Analytics. I still remember my first interview. I was so nervous and entered the room. And the interviewer's first question was, tell me about yourself. I have given a lot of interviews after that and I've also taken a lot of interviews too. And all of them have taught me this, that you should always be prepared to that answer and tell me about yourself. Because the way you answer this question would decide whether the interviewers would listen to you throughout the rest of the interview or will switch to their phones and pretend to listen to you. So I don't want you to make the mistakes I did in my first interview. So today, by end of this video, you will learn how to answer this question confidently and make a great first impression and eventually land with more job offers. So in today's video, we are going to understand what answer interviewers want and the formula behind tell me about yourself. And there is a bonus tip and please do watch this video until the end of this video where you will be uh, getting the bonus tip to understand what are the different techniques to handle if you have some language issues. But before that, if you like what I'm saying, make sure you hit that big like button so that it will help me to understand if I should be doing more such career videos. Hi, I'm Sailaja. So this video is quite important and I hope that it will be helpful for your interview preparation. So let's get into the discussion part of it. So uh, always remember the first topic that we are going to talk about now is what answer do the interviewers expect about this Tell me about yourself question, right? So we need to answer or the interviews expect what is important to you. So right now at this moment of time, when you're giving an interview, the important part would be getting the job that is needed for you, right? So you are giving this interview to help you get that particular job. So that would become your primary important aspect. So please focus on what you're expecting out of the job and try to make your answer accordingly. The second important aspect which the interviews would expect out of this question is whether you are the best fit for the job or not. So they would like to understand whether your job, uh, whether your qualifications, your experience, the attitude are the best fit for the job role or not right because there are a lot of other candidates who are also available in the market so why is it only you or why is that you should be able to get this particular job so this question would that uh, would be helpful for an employer or for the interviewer to decide whether they should consider you for the next level of discussion or not okay so the next important part of this agenda is the secret behind answering this tricky question in the right manner, right? So the formula behind framing the answer to well fit into the interviewer's expectations. So let's see this uh, with an example. So let's say that if you are an experienced person or probably you are a fresher who is trying to answer to this tricky question in an interview, you would need to summarize your experience or your education at the very first beginning, right? And combined with some adjectives to define what sort of a personality you are. So that would give you a better explanation or a proper answer to introduce yourself to the interviewer. So if I'm the uh, candidate who is trying to answer to this particular question, so I can uh, summarize my uh, experience and about myself like, Hi, I'm Sailaja. I'm a BI professional with 11 years of work experience managing all aspects of BI function from development to platform setup for Fortune 500 companies. So see how uh, uh, like intact I put in all the needed elements within my statement. So the employer or the interviewer would be able to understand like how many years of experience do I have and what sort of an experience do I bring in and how does it help for them to consider for the job role that they're looking for, right? But if you're a fresher, you could say something like, 
Hi, I am Sailaja. I am a hardworking engineering graduate specialized in electronics and communication engineering with an overall CGPA of so on and so forth. Right? So you can just uh, put that element saying that how, uh, what is your background, like what is your educational like, uh, qualification and uh, what is your overall CGPA to understand like uh, how, uh, uh, like uh, to uh, relate that to your uh, uh, knowledge, right? So the second part of this uh, uh, thumb rule is that try to add your accomplishments. So this is the place where you need to talk about your best work something that you're really proud about so uh, do not also uh, so please do make a note about uh, another key element so whenever you try to put in uh, uh, some words about your accomplishments about your work and your uh, something that you're really proud about right do not tend to use any superlatives within your lines right so like for example um I'm the most uh, talented person or probably I'm the most intellectual person. So do not use any such superlatives in your summarization because when you use such superlatives within your introduction, right, that would make the other person like the interviewers understand that you're rather an arrogant person or probably who is uh, uh, tend to be ignorant. So we don't want that to happen during our first impression uh, meeting, right? So please to avoid such kind of a superlatives being included in your statements, right? So uh, how you can provide this is something uh, that I've given like an example here. So probably I'll run through that example so that it might be of helpful. So here I have put something like, sorry um yeah so this one yeah so here i've uh, put this assuming that i'm applying for a power bi developer role so this is how i phrased up my uh, tell me about yourself uh, question like hi i'm Sailaja. i'm a bi professional with 11 years of work experience i believe that i'm a highly effective power bi developer who possesses a number of core qualities and traits that enable me to produce consistent results for my employer. Over the years, I have built up extensive experience as a Power BI developer and my resume demonstrates this. I have the ability to assess each data analysis task from a strategic perspective, meaning the work I carry out will be beneficial to your organizational goals. I have the ability to work to strict deadlines a high level of numerical and mathematical ability, an inquisitive and statistical driven approach to all tasks, and I also possess strong communication and interpersonal skills, which means I can fit quickly and seamlessly into any team. So see how uh, perfectly I've been able to frame all my uh, uh, traits and uh, what is really expected by the employer. So I've been able to project myself in a way that uh, to help them understand that I have the right skill set that they require for the given job description, along with some uh, core elements that is expected out of a Power BI developer. So remember in my uh, other video where I spoke about what are the main skills that is needed to become a Power BI developer. So I've included some of those aspects in, as part of my introduction where I spoke about the knowledge and the ability to include my communication skills along with my um, uh, statistical and numerical ability to include that in my data analysis. Okay, so this is another way of how you can express this uh, question as well, which is uh, something in more generic way. So it's not relevant to just uh, a specific one, but rather I put that in a very generic uh, fashion. So, so something like, Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be interviewed for this position today. Having studied the job description, I'm confident I have the skills, the abilities, uh, the qualities and the qualifications needed to excel in the role. I'm a fast learner. I possess excellent problem solving capabilities and I can manage a significant workload. I have an impressive track record of achievement. 
The type of person I am means I always act as a positive role model for the company and I will make sure I take the responsibility for my ongoing professional development. If you hire me in this position, I believe you will quickly see a positive return on your investment. Okay, so this is another way of how you can present yourself uh, to that particular question. So here, even if you observe, you've been able to uh, sell yourself in a better way and you're trying to project what is um, like a, that you have um, thoroughly read about what is expected from the job description. So you're uh, well aware about the skills and the experience that is expected from the employer and how your past experience and your skill set would fit into that particular job role and what value add can you bring into that particular role when hired. So in this way, if you can bring it up uh, during your uh, discussion, I hope you will definitely be uh, backed up with a lot of uh, offers and i hope this video is quite helpful in interviewing uh, during your interview process so the last part of the uh, so coming to the bonus tip uh, in this video so the techniques in order to handle the language barrier so we all know that we come from a non-english background so we all speak in a mother tongue language when at home and this is not a uh, like and we see uh, it's when we see it quite oftenly that uh, it's quite difficult when we have to explain it or probably put that in a right format without any grammatical uh, mistakes when we present ourselves, right? So the tips that I can present you in this aspect is uh, try to be always confident. So no matter what happens, be confident in what you answer to the employer and always remember that you maintain, you try to maintain the eye contact with your recruiter because if you when your employer is sitting on the other side and if you're trying to look at the other direction probably you try to answer to them by looking at the ceiling or probably at the other wall or probably looking at the door or the wall or someone else apart from the recruiter who is sitting next opposite to you the recruiter will not have that impression of uh, seeing that interest in you right so whenever you communicate whatever it is try to make a good eye contact with the other person so that it makes a good impression to the other person as well so the tip number three is if you find some difficulties in um, um, framing a good sentences in english do not worry about it so all it matters is how well you are able to communicate or present yourself and make the other person know what you are able to communicate so that would uh, carry along and if you can uh, consider the prior two tips that I mentioned like being confident and uh, having that good eye contact with the other person and having that uh, the attitude of what you have taken through the throughout the interview that would also leave a good impression with the recruiter. Okay, so make yourself comfortable in the interview and do not just uh, so your posture uh, while you sit right so that is also important so do not just lean on the table or just uh, uh, lag on that particular chair but just sit uh, straight and uh, do not uh, uh, fumble around anything if you are not aware of any specific question answer you can just be honest to it saying like uh, you do not hold that experience nor that knowledge and that should be fine enough okay and try to keep a pleasant uh, facial expression so keep us a, uh, a very uh, uh, like a keep a smile on your face while you answer to that interviewer and uh, make sure that you're uh, always present and you're always uh, uh, good enough to uh, get that um, you know like um, carry along that interview in a positive note Okay, so with these particular tips and tricks, I hope you are able to ace your interview and wish you all the best of luck. Thank you.